Do you find yourself wanting to have a nice three-course dinner, a fancy meal, but unable to because A, you're fat, B, you're lazy? Well, don't worry. XFL Gym is here to help. Hey folks, Chef XFL Gym here to show you how to make your own fancy three-course meals when you're at home, even if there's no fancy restaurants around you. You know you want to be doing it yourself sometimes, and I'm going to show you how right here. I've got everything I need. i got my shakers, i got my alcohol, i got my hot wings. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be making in this three-course meal is a nice, tasty beverage. And since it's getting so warm up, I might as well cool off with a nice gin and tonic. It's going to be really nice, really cold. Got a nice glass right here for it. And with a little XFL Gym kick, I'm having an essence of hot link added in. So what do you need to do for this? You need to grab a shaker cup, fill that circle with ice. I'm going to do it fancily. I'm going to fancy man. Nothing quite like a good gin and tonic on a very nice warm day, if I do say so myself. Fill out about half full of ice, gin in there. Now for one of these, I recommend only using about half the length, that way you preserve it for another beverage if you want, or as you'll see with my next meal, in the next uh, course, you can probably some too. So once that's all kind of set up, probably add a little bit more ice, you want that stuff are pretty full, it's going to be really nice and cold. That's coming. It's gonna be excellent. You really want the gin to catch the flavor of the hot. Remember, folks, there's no such thing as overshaping when it comes to this batch. Okay, slide that down. Let's go put some ice in our little uh, glass here. Once you get your glass filled with ice, all that's left to do is the bitch. Got it, fucking closer. Pour in your hot wink infused gin. It's okay if a little bit of uh, hot wink gets in there. There you go. Ah, the gin, and then just a splash of tonic water. And this is how you make a patented XFL Gym Hot Link Gin and Tonic. Let's give it a sip. Ugh. Once you've made your uh, your patented XFL Gym G and T, it's time to come outside. A nice, beautiful day. Enjoy your beverage. Get a close-up look on there. You can see some of the bits have floated to the top. That's just gonna add extra flavor to your first couple sips. Let's get this baby down the hatch. That's good. That's real good. <coughs> oh. On to the next course. Alright, folks, while you're sipping on your XFL Gym G and T. Ah. Um, let me get to the next course. It's going to be a nice salad. It's going to be just a nice little Italian salad. Um, I'm very simple with it today. Um, you can go as extravagant as you want. I've sometimes added onions, tomatoes, um, some pepperoncinos, uh, what do you say, uh, some bacon, some cold chicken. 
Um, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to go lettuce, uh, cheese, and croutons today with, of course, a little bit of hot link bits in my salad. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be elegant. It's going to be simple. It's going to be a holy XFL gym. So what do you got to do here for this one? You got to take your lettuce. Uh, make sure it's washed or not. It's fine. We're all Americans here. Uh, just kind of rip it up. Throw it in a bowl. As long as you're looking fancy while you're doing it, it really is a fancy meal. So there's the, this is the base of the salad. Got a little bit. You can probably just throw in a whole hummus for the most part, but I'm gonna kind of keep it classy. Do a little bit, a couple pieces. Cheers to that. Sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. A little bit of that just for, just for flavor. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, all up in there. And uh, normally, normally I would have Italian dressing, um, but today I'm, uh, what I have is Worcestershire sauce. That sounds Italian enough to me. So, get a little bit of that in there. Shoot up. You have yourselves a nice little XFL gym patented salad. Let's eat this bad boy. It's time for us to enjoy. Our second course here, I still have my tasty beverage working away on this. Oh, that's good. That's real good. Let's dig into this salad. Now, what did I put in this salad again, just to reiterate? Parmesan cheese, very Italian, delicious, elegant. The Italians are an elegant creature. Um, I have lettuce, the base of any good salad. I have hot link, the base of any good meal. And I uh, substituted Italian dressing for Worcestershire sauce. Uh, that sounds close enough to Italy to me. Uh, let's give this one a go. Get some lettuce in there. Make sure it's got some Worcestershire sauce and a hot link bit. Mwah, beautiful. I'm gonna forget to wash it down. A little G too. The salad is excellent. It's elegant, it's fancy, it's delicious, and it pairs perfectly with a nice gin and tonic. Fuck! Let's move on to the main course. Let's go to the entree. Okay, we're on to our main entree right now. Um, woo! Let's, uh, it's, so the entree is, uh, it's one whole hot wing. It's actually, you can do as many as you want, but I've got one today. Um, I'm going to roast this up. I'm going to cut her in half, roast her up. She's going to be amazing. I've got my Italian seasoning because everyone knows the Italians are fancy. I've been mentioning that a bunch. Use the Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, some onion, and some garlic for flavoring. And a whole bunch of, uh, I like to use extra virgin olive oil because you know your boy is whole and pure and saving himself for Danny Garcia. Okay, right, first things first, let's cut up this onion a little bit. Spread it around the baking sheet. Shouldn't actually have to do too much. Oh, look, this onion's already been cut because I'm a genius, folks. I'm a genius. So you just kind of just, what do what fancy people do, just kind of flop it on there. Look at that. It's going to be so flavorful when I put the hot wing on there with all this. Now you see that, folks. That is good kerning. That's what you want from an onion. Delicious. Next up is your garlic. Just gonna break her open, kind of scatter her a little bit everywhere each way. Peel your garlic one at a time. Roast these bad boys up. They're gonna be delicious and add so much flavor to whatever meal. This doesn't just pertain to hot legs, by the way. Um, although you should only be eating hot legs if you want to have a good diet. But this does pertain to almost anything. Garlic just adds so much fucking flavor, it's insane. So I like to put garlic with just about damn near everything. And sometimes, sometimes folks, sometimes I'll just pop one of these suckers out. You see it right there? That's a good piece right there. You go, oh, just throw it right in. And wash it down. Oh, now we're cooking with fucking fire. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Clean up your baking sheet a little bit. Woo! 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 Okay. 
cut your hot mic. Right down the middle. That'll work. Tight seasoning, a little pepper, a little salt, some olive oil. Once your food is all nice and ready to go into the oven and you're nice and lubricated, slam that baby in there, heat it 400 for 25 minutes. In the meantime, you can just find ways to occupy yourself because you are an adult and you know how to do that. What am I doing with my life? I need the XFL season to come back so fucking soon. Smelling good. That's looking good. Oh, that's looking crisp and delicious. Let's have us a taste, shall we? Okay, I'm gonna have me a little nibble right here, and then I'm gonna save the rest, let it cool off, and uh, then save it for the meal. Mm, delicious. A little piece of garlic bread. Oh, 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 that's good. Baby. Oh. oh, that's good. That's real good stuff. <coughs> oh, that's not. Okay, you have your meal set up. So I've got uh, the first three, well, the first two, if you don't count the alcohol as a beverage or a course or whatever, but I do. Um, I've got my appetizer salad. I've got my main course right here, my roasted hot link with a little bit of garlic and some onion right here. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a frilly kind of guy. I'm a no frills sort of guy. I like to keep things simple. Simple is elegant to me. Um, that's how I approach everything. And then the dessert will be coming once I finish all this off. So let's dig in. Let's have some of this. Let's start off with a little bit of the uh, the salad. It's been kind of marinating a little bit. I think that might add to the flavor. Okay. So the Worcestershire sauce kind of adds sort of like a barbecue smokehouse steakhouse sort of taste to it. It's almost like I'm sitting down eating a steak meal. I really appreciate this. This is really good. It was fantastic with the XFL Gym G&T. Some of this premium roasted hot link. Ooh, so crispy. So good. The Italian seasoning, and the garlic that goes with it, and the onion. Mm. Knocks it out of the park. <coughs> and again, an excellent pairing with the XFL Jim Jim Cheese. Let's do the mel medley and see how these all taste together. You really want those flavors to kind of sit in your mouth, get to know each other. Fantastic. I wouldn't recommend anything more than I'd recommend the Spanish three course now. Let's go have dessert. Okay, now we're on to the dessert portion of the meal. And uh, I don't know if you folks know this, but XFL Jim here, I'm a big fan of ice cream. So we're gonna do ice cream. A little bit of hot links sprinkled upon it. And uh, personally, I like chocolate syrup with mine as well. So let's jump right into that. First things first, you got your bowl. Oh, there's a fly in my gin. Ice cream ready to go. Just a couple scoops. This is a nice simple dessert to kind of like end your elegant night. A three scoop man, no more, no less. You're good to go there. And then before I do the chocolate syrup, I have one hot lake freezing overnight that I like to shred over my ice cream. 
Now what you can do, I didn't do it for this one, but what you can do, you can coat and soak your uh, hot wing in a brown sugar mixture to kind of sweeten it up a little bit and get it nice and ready for your ice cream. But I kind of like the savory mixed with the chocolate and the ice cream all together. It's a really good combo that I think more people should try. Okay, I think that's enough hot wing. Look on there, it looks nice and sprinkled on there. You just add chocolate syrup, give it a swirl, you're good to go. Okay, now I'm I got my dessert, I got my ice cream with the shaved hot links and my preference, the chocolate sauce on there. Take a good look at that one. Take a good look and see how those hot links just kind of like melt into the ice cream, kind of giving it that savory flavor to mix it with the chocolate. Fantastic way to end your meal, folks. I can I can think of a few better ways than to enjoy the end of a meal with some hot links, some ice cream, and some chocolate syrup. Let's dig in. Oh, this is so good. Oh. The way the chocolate just blends with the hot wings. Oh. I'm gonna take a shot. Oh, and even this goes well with the Africa Gym DNT. I just, I just can't stop so hot. It's so good. <coughs> oh. I'm gonna have to go to the gym. The left side, the top of the and the left. You want to have yourself a fancy meal? I'm gonna send the ingredients are gonna be in the description down below. Go have yourself a fancy spring, folks.